Okay, so Apache week one, session four. This is our secondary session, and just like we saw on session two, we're gonna start peppering in some of our frequent, uh, some of increased frequency for our upper body movements with bench press in this session today. The main thing that we're gonna be doing is sprints, but we are also gonna be doing some bench press. I'm interested to see how this plays out in terms of session timing. It may, it may be a little long, but I think that if you have a good group um, or you are just diligently working through everything and you're familiar with the movements and able to string things together, it should be, you should be able to finish in an hour. But um, there's a chance here that it may be a plus, plus five minutes or something like that uh, on, a, on the session. We'll have to see. Warm up is going to be 15 minutes, five bench press, working up to about 60%. And then you're gonna go through our running drill warm up, and it's been a minute since we've done our running drill warm up. This isn't really the full thing, but it's pretty close to the full thing. You're gonna do 10 meter high knees, 10 meter butt kicks, 20 meters total of karaoke, 20 meter total of lateral shuffle, 10 meter A skip, 10 meter B skip, 10 meter back pedal, and then 10 meter back pedal with a reach. Uh, now, I will link in the running drill, the full running drill warm up, so you can see all of these executed. Uh, it has a couple of other things in there. All we're going to be doing is working through these. So make sure to watch that video so you can know ahead of time what these uh, drills are going to look like. When you're done with that, uh, for, this, for this first 15 minutes, you're going to go right back to your bench press, increasing the weight. After you get done there, six by six for bench press, 60 to 70 percent of your 1RM and then a 200 meter jog. That's your rest. As soon as you get back in, uh, load back up a little bit more weight. If you are somewhere between 60 and 70, if you're at 70 already, just stay there, knock out your next six, and continue that. After that, we're gonna go into our sprints. Now, we have 14 total rounds of sprints, but for those of you who have been following this sprint progression uh, from when we started in Comanche, we have been doing a total of 1,000 meters of sprinting for quite a while. That has been the, the top end of our volume for sprinting. We're only doing 750 meters today and throughout Apache because while I want to keep us sharp and keep us gaining our top end speed as we work through Apache, I don't want the volume to be so much that it inhibits our ability to execute our heavy lifts because the goal here is not to be world class sprinters. The goal here is to get fast or to get strong for our, uh, our, our primary lifts that we 1RM'd before this whole cycle began. So we're going to do two rounds of a 100 meter sprint working up from 0 to 50%, half speed buildups, all right? Really easy, should be uh, just at half speed by the end of the 100 meters. You don't have to work on acceleration or anything like that. Feel out your stride, get some uh, blood flowing, bring your body temperature up even more after all these drills and everything. Uh, allow yourself some more time to get used to that top end speed. Uh, you're going to take a two minute rest for each of those. Then you're going to have two rounds working between half and three quarter speed. In terms of rate of perceived exertion, this is obviously going to be between, you're going to be working between five and eight on your rate of perceived exertion. All right. So, um, just however that feels to you, I want you to stay right around there. Two minute rest there as well. And then we're going to go into really where the, the, the meat and potatoes of this session is, which is gonna be four rounds at 75% or three quarter speed plus for 50 meter sprint. Now we are cutting our distance that we have to run so that we can put the emphasis on acceleration and top end speed. Your 100% speed for 50 meters is going to be easier to attain than it is for 100 meters. And so we want you to be pushing towards that highest percentage of your speed for these four rounds. Now, round one doesn't have to be 90%. You may only get rounds three or maybe even just round four uh, at that high end. That's okay. Take what you can get today, allow your body to heal and recover, and try to get a little bit more in on the next time we do sprints. 
and then we're going to finish out. We're, we're going to, so this is the first phase of our speed work. All right, the second part of our speed work is going to be this six rounds, again at 75% plus. And this is where I really expect you to be hitting that full speed on these six rounds. It's just 25 meter sprints. That's it. About six to eight seconds or so, probably even less uh, for some of you. And that's going to be a minute rest. Now, these rest periods are going to seem a little bit long. Uh, well, these two minutes may seem a little bit short because we've been used to doing the three minutes. But for these two, it may seem a little bit long. But remember, we, we are refueling your muscles here, all right? And regardless of how your muscles feel during this, any, during this time, they still need more time than what you can understand and tap into in your body to refuel completely. So take that full time uh, to rest and then give me your best effort uh, on the working bout.